Hello guys, welcome to another Doubtco video. So in this video, we are going to discuss chapter 4. The role of distribution in the supply chain. So uh, basically distribution refers to the steps taken to move and store a product from supplier stage to the customer stage. The factors influencing distribution network design, uh, basically there are two factors, the values which we are giving to the customers and the investment which has been incurred in this process of delivering okay uh, factors uh, like there are two type of factors one is service factor and the another is cost factor so in service factor there are different different things and these are very important because in the whole chapter you have to give a detailed analysis of all these factors so please listen properly uh, response time like the response time to the customer product variety how many varieties are there of the product if the product is available or not the customer experience uh, the time uh, we have to market okay like if there is a product you should have a time for marketing in different different areas to your segmented market and uh, the last two are the visibility of your product in the market and the retainability that is uh, the product can be returned or not so uh, coming to the cost factors basically there are four cost factors one is inventory like the stock place the other is trans transportation uh, then the information costs and facilities and handling costs these four are the main cost factors there are different graphs so in the first graph uh, it is convex to the origin the curve so the uh, more the required number of facilities the lesser the response time and uh, the more the response time it keeps on decreasing okay inventory cost uh, as number of facilities increases the inventory cost increases with the decreasing rate here uh, like at one time uh, as number of facilities are increasing the transport cost is decreasing and then after a point it start increasing in this graph the facility costs are increasing at an increasing rate with the number of facilities and the last graph here the total logistics cost uh, starts decreasing initially and then as it starts increasing as the number of facilities increases design distribution for our network okay so uh, these are very important because this will be asked in the examinations so the first one is the manufacturer storage with direct shipping uh, in this option basically a product is shipped directly from the manufacturer to the end customers bypassing the retailer and the job role of retailer is to take the order and initiate the delivery request to the manufacturers so uh, this type of shipping is used in ebags and not nordstrom.com um, the other one is manufacturer storage with direct shipping and an in transit merge okay here each product in the order is directly sent from its manufacturer to the end customer and the in transit merge combines pieces of the order coming from different locations so the customer gets a single delivery and this type of system is used in Dell. The next is distributed storage with courier delivery. Uh, here the inventory uh, is not held by the manufacturers. Okay. It is held by the distributors, retailers in intermediate warehouses. And the package carriers are used to transport products from intermediary locations to the final customer. Uh, Amazon, the last mile delivery refers to delivering the product to customer's home instead of using a package carrier. So Peapod, uh, these uh, grocery stores like Amazon Fresh, Peapod, Tesco use these type of methods. The next is manufacturer or distributor storage with customer pickup. So 
in this pro approach inventory is stored at the manufacturer or distributor warehouses but customers place their orders online or on the phone and then travel to the designated pickup points to collect their merchandises okay so this is very easy like um, it was used in amazon uh, lockers and different different places the last one is retail storage with a uh, customer pickup which we regularly do uh, like it can be oftenly viewed so traditional type of supply chain here the customer walks into the retail store or plo or a place and order online or by phone and pick it up at the retail store so these type of things we do in big bazaar and uh, different different stores the next one is online sales uh, using internet obviously so additionals are like there is a flexible pricing portfolio promotions you are having an, a platform where you promote okay and efficient fund transfer uh, for example if you send to a fund to somewhere where any disaster has happened so by online fund you can do it very easily uh, and the next is direct sales to customers for example uh, using flipkart you can directly buy anything okay so it's good for flipkart as well because they can sell directly to the customers we are going to discuss uh, about the amazon peapod netflix and dell so in dell uh, the advantages uh, are basically because of this online system uh, they have they don't have to sh like store anything okay very less storage so it makes their inventory cost very less and the facility cost is also very low okay and the best thing is they have a benefit of a spreading information like through online they can spread it to everyone okay but the disadvantage the disadvantage is like because they are going it online and the buyers are buying it there is an increase in transportation cost and uh, there is also a delay because if you went to any uh hardware store or anything so you can buy their laptop there only okay but here there is a delay in fulfilling the customer request because you have to wait for the shipment and everything amazon so in amazon uh what they have done like earlier uh, they started by selling books like flipkart as well so uh in the books were of different different varieties and there were many like many people asking for the ebooks so they starting doing ebooks online okay so this and this was a very big advantages for them as uh, there was like low inventory cost they can directly take it from the uh, suppliers and uh, give it to the give it to the customers online only okay so uh, watching through this they introduced kindle and they used in this uh, platform to market this product to those who are already reading books in on their online platform they marketed the kindle uh, books okay the kindle platform as we all know the tablets to the customers so there is a advantages you can just read it talking about the peapod peapod is online grocery store in peapod also they went online okay so uh, there are various advantages like customer experience improved drastically and uh, mm, there was a flexible pricing promotion and portfolio that is like according to the demand they just they can change directly on the platform only the disadvantages are also very big like the increased transportation cost they have to uh, deliver it to the homes and uh, information cost was also very high talking about the netflix the most popular right now uh, there is like very low inventory cost because they, they they gave us the platform where we can watch movies online okay and it improved customer experiences a lot okay you can watch any movie on it uh, whatever is uploaded on netflix and you can have five accounts in it so it it helped a lot in like in saving money you, in very less amount because i personally use netflix in very less amount you can watch lots of movies okay and disadvantages was like 
बिकॉज द मूवीज आर इन थिएटर्स सो दे ट्राई टू ब्रिंग इट ऑनलाइन सो दे डोंट हैव एनी टाइम टू मार्केट इट ओके एंड दिस इंक्रीज देयर इन्फॉर्मेशन कॉस्ट एज वेल या टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रेडिशनल इंडियन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैनल्स वी ऑल नो हाउ इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैनल इन इंडिया द ओनर द ओनर्स प्ले अ बिग रोल एंड दे गिव अ वेरी बिग इम्पैक्ट इन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नेटवर्क एंड द मिडल मैन वी ऑल नो अबाउट दीज थिंग्स ओके इंटीग्रेटिंग द इंटरनेट विद एग्जिस्टिंग फिजिकल नेटवर्क सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन टू दिस वर्ल्ड बिकॉज एज यू टॉक अबाउट एग्रीकल्चर एरिया द फार्मर्स दे दे हैव सो बिग फार्म्स बट all the crops they generate okay but they can't sell it on the prices they want to okay so they are because there is a presence of middlemen and various parameters as well so if we make it a, on internet they can buy easily like the person who wants to buy these crops they can directly buy to the farmers okay so it will help a lot okay for them as well to generate a high revenue and to the customers as well because it will be less uh, price than the others in the market so thank you so much guys for watching and uh, it's really uh, very good for us that we have 30 subscribers now in the span of like 2 3 days so thank you so much for watching kindly like our video and share it to your friends because it will help them a lot thank you so much